Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, last <clears throat> last episode, we were um, running along and talking to Shenhua, where we actually found out that she's actually a very good singer. Uh, we found out that uh, Ryo took on some lessons from Gen Men, learned some Tai Chi. I I failed a lot. I think <laughs> I fell in the water a couple times. Jeez. All right, so now we're just gonna keep on making our way. And I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, but um, I feel like we're reaching the uh, end here because we're back on the grassy plain and not on rocks. So right now we're just cruising along. Oh crap, not another split off. I feel like it's that way. Maybe it's this way. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, let's see. Is there another beautiful river here? Oh no, wait. More of the guardians? What is this? I don't know. That is a stone lion. The stone oh. lion. Okay. It is an ancient Chinese sign placed on the roads that branch off. All right. Road sign. Then. We're back on the usual path. Mm. I'm familiar with this path. Really? Oh. The village is not far from here now. Oh. Let's go. Follow me. Yeah. So it isn't that far. So that's a good sign. Well, since we're reaching the end of the game here, you guys, um, we might as well ask her some uh, more yeah. questions. Drinking water, landslide, stone lion, hurry on. Uh, let's go with the stone lion. I saw that stone lion in Hong Kong, too. The stone lion king is a talisman found everywhere in China. A talisman? A talisman. We pray for safe journeys. Oh. So that's why it's sitting by the path. Yes, especially on the points where the paths branch off. Oh, where the paths branch off? I was taught when I was a child okay. that it protects the village from evil spirits. I remember now. I saw them at the entrances of the towns in Hong Kong. That's not a surprise. Uh -huh. Also, we pray to it when a child gets sick. A oh. child? Yes. As a child, when I had a fever, the old lady in the village prayed for me. Huh. They have them in your village as well? We place them in the village where the roads cross, where some houses have them carved in the walls. Oh. I guess they're everywhere. Yes. Oh, so that's like a deity or something? Shenfa. Yes? Ah. Uh, uh, tired. Drinking water. Let's go drinking water. When you go into the mountains, what do you do for drinking water? If you're walking around here, there's no need to worry about water. There are rivers and lots of places where the water flows into springs. Okay. Oh, you can drink from the river? Yes, you can. Oh, when we reach my house, you can drink from the well. Ah, the water from the well. Everyone in the village lives off the water from the well. Okay. The river is where we fish and where the children play. Did you used to play in the river too? When I was a child, I played with the boys. I okay. kept it a secret from my father. Oh, what why? did you do? What? We caught fish. Cool. And we raced to the other bank. You were a pretty active kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that she is, huh? What's wrong, Shenfa? Uh oh. The two paths. What about it? Which way was it? Are we lost? No, we'll be fine. Either path will take us to the village. It's just that. What? Huh. One of them will be a detour. Okay. The paths look so much alike, I can't tell which one. Alright. I'll decide on which path to take. Yes. What? Please do. Uh. Let's go. Let's go right. I'll go right. We'll go right and kind of just start from there, Let's see where go it goes. Yes. My sense of direction. Isn't very keen, but I've been lucky so far, so. Shenfa. Yes? Uh, animal, tired, landslide. Let's go with animal. What sort of animals live here? There are many kinds of animals. 
Like Yesterday, what? you told me that there are wolves. Right. There are wolves and bears in these mountains. Uh, excuse me, did you say bears? Wolves and bears. Aren't you scared of them? I'm not scared. Nothing dangerous happens. The bears won't attack people. Well, as, long as, as long as you stay away but from them, yeah? A cub, you have to get away from it quickly. Cubs? Yes. Uh -huh. The mother bear would fight, risking its own life to protect her child. Oh. Risking her own life to protect her child. But bears hardly ever attack people. It's a kind-hearted animal. Yeah. I see. I don't know if that's actually true, Shinta. but I mean... Ah. Yes. Uh, any other animals? Wait. You know what? I'm going for it. Other animals. Let's Are there see. other animals besides wolves and bears? Rabbits and foxes and raccoons. Foxes and raccoons. Uh -huh. What kind of animals were there where you grew up? Okay. Uh, there was a cat. Carp. I'll go with the cat. <laughs> there was a cat. Did you own it? No. No. It was a stray cat living in the neighborhood. The mother had died, and it was all alone. I see. But the kids in the neighborhood took care of it. Mm -hmm. It grew to be a healthy cat. Is the cat well taken care of in Japan? Yeah, probably. Probably? <laughs> Last time I saw it was when I was leaving for Hong Kong. Oh. I'm sure the cat's doing fine. Yes, I'm sure it is. Oh, okay. Yes? Uh, danger. Isn't it dangerous to walk in the mountains alone? There's nothing dangerous here. I just stay put when there's no moon, or when it rains heavily. And if you don't surprise the animals, they won't attack you. Okay. Really? If you know about the mountains in the forest, you'll realize that people are just another creature in the mountains. There's nothing to fear. Okay. People are also creatures in the mountains. But you all Hmm. Watch out for the snakes. They are poisonous ones. What? Poisonous snakes? Yes. Where? If the snake's head is triangle shaped, it's poisonous. Okay. It slithers on the ground, so you can't notice it even if it's near you. Lovely. All right. I'll remember that. It would be terrible if you got bitten. Yeah, I'll be careful. Hmm. I don't know. I feel weird about this. Are there lots of poisonous snakes? I see them sometimes, but... Where? What? The poison of the snakes around here isn't too strong. Okay. Even if you're bitten, if we take care of it quickly, you'll be fine. I see. Uh -huh. Feel better? Yeah, a little. Meh. <laughs> Alright then. Oh, another split off. Uh-oh. Yo, the village is this way. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Village is that way. Shenfa. Anyway, uh, more. Let's see. Let's talk about her with uh, Shenhua's house. Okay, let's ask about her house. What does like... your house look like? My house? Like any other ordinary house in the village. Okay. An ordinary house in Bailey Village. I can't imagine what it looks like. They're wooden pillars and walls made from dirt. The what? Walls made from dirt. There are houses made from stone in the village, too. Oh. We can get various kinds of stones near the village. There are rare beautiful stones and strong ones too. Used uh -huh. to build houses. There are no houses in Japan made from stone. Oh. They're all wood, right? What do you mean by rare beautiful stones? You can only find them in Guilin. Specifically near Bailu village. They used to be treasured by the emperors and nobles in the city. Uh oh. Emperors and nobles. Yo. Hmm. What are Japanese houses made of? Um, my house was made from wood. Most yeah. of the old houses are made from wood. Only wood? No, the roofs are tiled, and the windows and doors have glass. Glass? Uh -huh. We don't have that in the village. Really? Once broken, it can't be fixed. No one uses it for houses. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, I just realized that we're on a... Rocky Path. Shenfa. Yes? And then, well, as long as we keep talking, life. Oh my god, let's do it. <laughs> How do the villagers live? Most people cultivate the fields and own water buffalo or goats. Water buffalo. 
There are horses too, for people to ride on. Oh, can you ride a horse? I can, but I'm not too good at it. Oh, I didn't know that. When I was small, I wanted to run around freely like the boys. Okay. I always wished I could do that. Okay. Aren't the girls allowed to ride horses? I wasn't really allowed to. Mm-hmm. Why is that? I never rode on a horse before. Oh. I heard that the people in town ride in cars. Do you ride cars? Yeah, I got rides. Yeah. Really? But we don't need them in Bailu Village. He knows how to ride a motorcycle too. Get through these mountain paths. I'm sure the horses and cows can get you there faster. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, this is right. Alrighty. Uh oh. Well, we oh, did we miss a turn or something? Hmm. What is that sound? It sounds like a waterfall. I hear it from the path on the left. Is there a waterfall? No. I don't think there was one nearby. Huh? Then what is that sound? I don't know. Do you want to go find out? Yeah, actually, I, I do. What is it? Yeah, why not? I'm kind of interested. Yeah. I need to learn these things, you know? Anything for the third game. The third game is going to be awesome! I kind of thought that uh, it would have been like a helicopter or something. <laughs> mm. I wonder if they're going to use the same voice actors for the, the characters. I mean, I don't think so. I highly doubt it, but I need to see. There's water back in the river. Huh? Look, this river has been dry for months. Huh? Really? We heard this waterfall. But why did the water start running all of a sudden? Last night's rain. Oh. The rain made the waterfall, and it's now flowing into the river. That rain made this waterfall. Yes. Whenever it rains hard, small waterfalls are made here and there. Really? Oh. The river runs into the Lijiang. The village is up the river. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Well, that's pretty interesting. Kind of found out a little bit about what happened. Shenfa. Yes. Uh, the village. I want to learn more about the village. I wonder what by the village looks like. A quiet, small village surrounded by the mountains. Okay. But what? What? There are old buildings and castle walls there. They were built long ago. Oh. Castle walls? Yes. They were built by the nobles from the city. An old lady in the village told me. Oh. Who were the nobles? They served the emperor. They okay. had treasures and rare items. So naturally, there were many thieves. Oh, God. Ah, that's why they built the walls. All right. There is a poem in the village left by the nobles. What? How does the poem go? Green trees of Gui. Create a forest to the south of the lake. Uh -huh. The river is a blue sash of silk. The hills are hairpins of jade. What does it mean? The deep forests of Gui are south of the lake. The waters of the Lijiang are like blue silk. Okay. The mountains are like hairpins made from jewels. The landscape of Gui Lin. Uh. Yes, I like this poem. Even with my eyes closed, I can see the landscape of Gui Lin. Really? Oh god. I don't know whether to keep walking or oh. Interesting. Hmm. 
What? We'll be out of the forest soon. Okay. Yeah. It won't take long now. Let's move on. Well, let's. I'm I'm here. I'm waiting. Shenhua's house. Yo, we're almost there. I see. Shenfa, is Bailu Village near now? We have to go a little further to reach the place where the villagers live. Okay. Really? But my house is right there. Oh, okay. Small hill. Please come in for a while. But I need to go to Bailu Village. Hey. You saved my life. I want to thank you. Um. Yeah. How about that big meal? A bit. Please. Oh. All right. Good. I didn't even get a choice there. <laughs> We'll see my house soon. Dang. Oh, uh, wow. Is that her house? Dude, look at this beautiful tree. Wait. I want to check this out. Oh, never mind. Oh, here we go. Here. Okay. Look at that beautiful tree, man. What's this tree? I think that's a cherry. What? Huh? A tree called Shenmu. 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 Every year at this time of the season, its flowers bloom. Okay. Really? This tree holds a special meaning for me. What, what is it? What's this special meaning? The Shinmu tree has its flowers in bloom again this year. Uh huh. A beautiful flower. Oh. We will name our child Shenfa. 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 That is wonderful. The Shenmu tree shall protect her. Oh snap. So that's a very deep meaning. The flower of the Shenmu tree is called Shenfa. That's... Oh. Yes, that's my name. Hmm. That's so cool. I can't wait to see the rest of the village. So at least we found out the meaning of Shenmu, or Mu, sorry, Shenmu. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. <laughs> it's Shenmu. And her name is Shenhua, which is the flower of the Shenmu tree. That's pretty cool. I like that meaning. Hmm. There was a tree at home that bloomed during the springtime. Huh? At your house? They were called cherry blossoms. Their petals were pale pink. Cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms. Does that tree hold a special meaning for you too? Yes. Ah. Uh. Let's go. It's this way. Alright, thanks, Shinhua. We go have some tea. Wow. So 
So there is another meaning meaning behind it, I guess. This girl snapped. <laughs> That is pretty cool. I like that cool scenery. That's so awesome. What's the matter, Shenfa? Huh? When I was a child, I used to play on that swing. Okay. Every year when the Shenmue's flowers bloomed. Is this house located in Bailu village? Yes. Oh, I thought it was on the outskirts. The village. Oh, really? Uh, there goes my answer. <laughs> uh, let's, ask her, let's ask her more about the family, you guys. Shenfa, you said you were living with your father. Yes, I only have a father. I don't have a mother. Whoa, what where's your mom? You? When I was really small, my mother was already... And your father? My father is gone now. Oh. I'm sorry, I... It's alright. What's your father like? He's a stubborn but warm-hearted man. <laughs> stubborn, <laughs> like most men, I'm just saying. I'm a man too, I know. <laughs> Your. While you're still sleeping in bed, farmers are working hard in the fields, uh -huh. carefully picking carrots one by one. So how can you waste them like that? Oh. Okay, I'll eat them. Oh, you wow, man. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's my boy. I don't know, man. I'm not a very big What's carrot wrong? person. Nothing. But there's something I'd like to tell you. Uh, hmm. what? I was told my real father had died. Oh, died? Yes, together with my mother. Whoa. Really? But I don't remember anything about my real parents. I yeah, they're babies, know right? How they died. Your present father? He took my parents' place and raised me as if I were his real child. Wow, okay. Of course I accept him as my real father. He's my only family now. That's okay. crazy. So she's basically went through the same thing Ryo did. And when I was small, I used to give him a difficult time. Oh. Mm -hmm. I threw tantrums. Uh -huh. I told him that I wanted a mother. Brothers and sisters, too. Uh uh. Brothers and sisters. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Uh. Fukusan! I don't have any brothers or sisters. But there was this person called Fukusan. We used to practice with each other. Practice? We were learning martial arts from my father. He was strict to both of us. We were always sweaty from practice. We used to fight a lot too. Yeah, like, like real brothers. Yep. Really? Yep. He helped me in many ways so that I could go to Hong Kong. Yeah. You're lucky. Hmm. Yeah, he is. I envy you for having a person like that close to you. Although we weren't real brothers, he's a part of my family and he's important to me. Yep. Yes. Fukudahara san! Shenmu tree. Alright, we're gonna ask that about the Shenmu tree. The Shenmu tree. Yeah, it's a really big tree. Yes, it's a very old tree too. Right. The tree was already that tall when my grandfather was a child. Wow. I see. The tree has been alive for thousands of years. Thousands of years. Shenmu. What's the matter, Nyo? Maybe mm. it's only my imagination. Yes? But... But I think I feel something. Huh? You feel something? The tree isn't just old and big. I don't know how to say this. Mm. It seems like it has a spirit. Really? Whoa. What? Do you feel that way too? Well... Yeah. I felt the same way ever since I was small. Wow. You too? When I was a child, I used to play under the tree. 
And I felt like I was being held by the Shenmue tree. Ah. Although I was alone, I didn't feel lonely at all. Well, that's I think that's I awesome. Understand. I didn't know yes. that that could be like that. It feels like, even as we sit here, that tree is watching and protecting us. It seems like I've known that tree from a long time ago. Huh. It's a strange feeling. That is quite interesting. What if that was like his past life, if you know what I mean? Soon, you should stay for the night. Uh, is that alright? Yes. I want to help you in return for saving me. I'm going to get dinner ready. Please wait. Okay. Why don't you rest while I make dinner? Hey, sounds good to me. I'd, I'd love a good meal. <laughs> hey, I, I don't mind a free meal. All right. <laughs> He's still mesmerized by that tree, you guys. The meal should be ready soon. I should go to the kitchen. What am I doing? Okay, so. Flower of Shenmue, the tree is Shenhua. Uh, okay, so. Basically, I'm literally in, in, in this, in Shenhua's house. Oh, I can't run. Oh, that's a sad. Oh, I can't go downstairs? Bull honky, really? Oh, oh, wow! <laughs> I'm a big dummy. Okay, that's that's fine. Oops. Shenfa. What's wrong, Yo? Uh, I smell something good. <laughs> I'm preparing a big feast. So can you wait a while? Sure. Uh. Uh. Wait, no, I can't wait. I gotta see what's up with that tree. Wow, fuck. That looks good. That No, the graphics are terrible, but that does look good. Maybe I'm just hungry or something. <laughs> I am so hungry. I gotta finish the this recording, and then I gotta get... Um, and then I have to get to work soon. What time is it? Help yourself to seconds. Oh, it's ten oh nine. What's this meat? Rabbit. Huh? Eh. I set a trap in the mountain. Wow. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't think he appreciates the meat. <clears throat> Make yourself at home. You can use any space in this house. Okay. Thank you. Father has a small collection of things. Take a look, if you like. Ah. Uh, yeah, I will. All right then. Collection, eh? Mm-hmm. I should check out Shenhua's father's collection. Collection of what? What am I looking at? Collection of things. Maybe in here? What's that? This first thing I'm looking at is the, the book. Constellations. The Xingxu are explained. Xingxu? The stars that affect the fates of people. Oh. The Big Dipper is one of them. No. Oh. The Big Dipper? The North Star is said to be the god that deals with death. Oh. The harbinger of death. When the North Star flickers, something bad happens. I didn't know that. Like last night. I hmm? was watching the Big Dipper when I got this bad feeling. What? Bad feeling? That's why I couldn't go to sleep and started singing. So that was why. Weird. Alright, well. Let's see. I want to check out that book. The light that shone from the Phoenix Mirror was in the shape of the Big Dipper. That is true. It, I remember that. Wait, can we grab that? And we actually, can we look in it? No? Huh? Up. Okay. Well, forget that. Um, let's see. 
Hit. Check inside. Whoa. A book, an inkstone, and a brush. Are these Shinfas? Uh, th I think that's like writing paper and stuff. I want to check out all the rest of the stuff in here. Eh, eh, can we? Whoa. It's like an art. It's art. This painting. Somewhere in Guilin. Really? I heard these mountains are scary. Huh? Scary? Those who set foot in these mountains have never returned. Whoa, it's really? An old tale. Why? I don't know. But no one goes near these mountains today. Huh. I didn't know that. Wow. Okay. So there is more to look at. Oh. Uh, why? I keep... No. Turn your butt around. Thank you, Rio. You can climb up there. I can climb, let me see. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Whoa, a flute? A flute. My father made it. He made it from a Shenmue branch when I was a baby. Whoa. From a Shenmue branch. I always stopped crying whenever I heard its sound. That's so cool. My father told me. It was like a lullaby. Yes. That's so cool, man. Uh, is there anything else I need to look at down here, maybe? Oh. I don't think it means anything. Well, duh. It's not supposed to. It's just a collection, my guy. Um. Alrighty then. Is there anything in here? No. Oh, oh, we got something. An interesting sculpture. The mountains of Guilin made from stalactite. Stalactite? In huh? a cave nearby? It was brought from the stone pit. Father likes to look at stones. Hmm. Stones? He says he hears their voices. Although I don't know what he means. Okay. Voices from the stone. Maybe you should try looking at the thing. Is that a thing? Teapot, fire. Let me see. Maybe there's some more stuff in here. Huh. I'm gonna check this out. Whoa. This must belong to Shinfa's father. Well, yeah. It's kind of the thing, bro. Let's check the other door. There are many things in here. Yes, we we know, my guy. Uh, there's nothing in here. All right. Ooh. ooh. What's that? Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, well, that's Washed a, that's stacked neatly. Okay, let's check in here, guys. Anything in here? On top, there are wicker baskets. What? What? Yeah, duh. Uh, let's check the other one. These are cushions. There's nothing interesting in here. Am I supposed to be looking for something? You guys know? Hmm. Well, there's stuff in here. Yeah. Maybe, am I supposed to look at something else? What's that? Uh, okay. Well, obviously there's nothing in there. Let's check in here, maybe? Yeah. Oh, nope, I 
can't see any. <laughs> I think maybe I should show her, like, the... The stone, or whatever. Maybe she might get a kick out of that, you know? Cool. There we go. Here are bowls. No. Come on now. Mm. Nope. Washed and stacked neatly. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's it. Mm. Huh. Wait, there's something. Is there something outside? It's closed. What? <laughs> you can open it. You, this is a house, my guy. Hey. What's wrong? I want to put some things away. Uh, Rest up for a while. I'll do that. If you're tired, you can lie down in the bedroom. The bedroom? Are you sure? Go right ahead and rest. Okay. okay. Wait, is there a thing? Wait, is there a thing I can look at up here? Uh, oh. Up. No. Can you look up, buddy? Can you look up, buddy? No, no, nothing. Okay, well, I'm just gonna head to bed then. Hey. I think, I think. Mm hmm. Can I just. Me. Do I just look at the bed? How do I go to bed? How do I do things? Um. Hmm. Well, I'm guess. Well, that's the only place I can go to sleep at. So I'm gonna try and go to bed. Let's see. I guess not now. I guess not now. What does that mean? Okay. So obviously, I'm supposed to look for something here. Hmm. You know what? Let's see, I'm gonna check this bed. Did I check this bed? No. Can I go around this side, maybe? No. I'm supposed to look for something. Am I supposed to look at something here? Hmm. Alrighty then. supposed to look for oh this is embroidered my father has had that tapestry for a long time where is this place Luo Yang Luo Yang uh an old city that flourished during the Tang Dynasty Tang the sunset Dynasty. colors the whole city beautifully have you ever been there? No, but for some reason it gives me a nostalgic feeling. Hmm. Nostalgic feeling? I see it when I close my eyes. The landscape of the city and the people bustling by. Who are young? Hmm. Ah. Uh, anything else? I apparently don't... Wait, let me take a look at maybe one of these guys, you know? Oh. Yeah. Anything? No? Hmm. Wait, am I supposed to look at something up here, maybe? No? What am I supposed to look at? You know what? Let's just head to bed. <laughs> it must be like a bed thing. Maybe I wasn't supposed to look at something? I don't know. Oh, what's this? Hmm. What? Whoa! This is...
That's the dragon mirror and the phoenix mirror. What's wrong? <clears throat> Uh oh. That's a perfect match. It's the same. What is this drawing? Uh oh. My father told me this has been in our family since long, long ago. But he uh. wouldn't tell me anything else about it. Hmm? Yo, what is this mirror? I heard that it was given to my father. To your father? This Phantom Riverstone can only be found in Bailu Village. Uh-oh. Phantom Riverstone? How did this mirror get to Japan? I don't know, I don't you know. tell me. My father might know something. I'm hoping. Where is your father now? He's at the stone pit, gathering Phantom Riverstone. Where's the stone pit? Over on the other side of the mountain. Ah, crap. He said he was going to finish something. It's been days since he left for the stone pit. Can uh -oh. you take me there? I'm going to bring him food tomorrow morning. Come with me. Okay. All right. Well then. The next day, 8 a.m. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to cut the episode short a little. I will uh, kick her back up immediately so that way um, we can continue the, with the, the, the adventure. The next episode will probably be the last one. Uh, remember to hit that like, uh, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.